We get all the time that every non-US watcher of the show asks, how can we get Hulu outside of the USA? Here to help answer that question, our very own producer, Mr. Roger Chang. Yes. Wearing the oft-requested WTF shirt. What the frack? In fact, that actually uh, uh, is a very good jumping off point because there's a lot of sites, not only in the US, but outside of the US, where it's difficult for non-residents to access the content. People uh, have been asking a lot lately, actually, to try to get Spotify here in the U.S. because it's only available over in Europe for the most part. But there are also sites like Facebook and uh, MySpace, which are blocked off in certain countries around the world. And you know, people want to be able to connect with their friends and not have to jump through 15 hurdles to do it. Now, you know, you know, for Hulu's specific case, it's because of copyright. And uh, what they do is what a lot of sites do is that they base the the location of the person who's trying to access it on their IP. Mm -hmm. They say they see an IP from your machine. They say, "Well, that guy's in the U.S. We won't let him access our site." Or that person's from Europe. We won't let him access uh, Hulu. Or this person's in South America. Blah 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 blah. So it makes sense that in order to view that content, you would therefore want to change your IP address to reflect a different location, perhaps. Ah, you are very very smart. Is that? I just have to ask, is that illegal? No. It's, Not for it's copyright co stuff? Um, yeah. It's spoofing. OK. And uh, you know, there's several ways to do it. You know, the most popular way is, is a proxy server. And a proxy server in this essentially acts as a middleman between you and the website server or the web uh, site you're trying to access. So instead of you sending information directly to that site, you send it to the, the proxy server first. It takes that, adds its own IP on top of the information, or the request and sends it off to the server. And then the server sends the information back to the proxy server and back from the proxy server back to you. Now, what about using a VPN with a machine that's already in the US? VPN is another very good way. You know, For most people who, especially business people who travel a lot outside of the country, they can tunnel in through VPN into their corporate networks. And then they can access all the stuff on their corporate site. But the offside benefit is that they have a U.S. Uh, IP, and I've known a few people, especially uh, people who travel a lot, who set one up at home and they leave it running, and then when they when they leave the country, they can access it from like Europe, South America, Asia. So it'd be it seems like it would be a lot easier to just set up a proxy. Yes, it's it's much easier. Um, and of course, you know, with proxy servers, you also have several options. Uh, Tor is the one that most people know. It's the uh, the Onion router. It's specifically designed to hide your uh, information to make you anonymous when you surf online. So it's really good if you want to be anonymous, but it's really slow if you want to get video. I've tried it, it's really slow. But what, what about uh, web proxies? Those web, should be pretty easy, right? Web proxies are another really great tool. And they're actually great if you want to access your Facebook or uh, a MySpace account. Flip side is, is because you're interfacing through a website, mm -hmm. um, things like video and uh, Basically, video won't work. So it wouldn't work for Hulu or, it or I YouTube. I tried it with Hulu, and basically, you'd have to install Java and, and tell those guys that the uh, you know web to run the web proxy decide to put Java in. Now, there's some that might actually have video enabled on their sites, but of the 20 or so that have come across, not one of them has supported Hulu, uh, any kind of the, any of the streaming Flash, even on our site, wouldn't play. So it's um, it, it's a great way to get access, you know, a, a, web, a regular website, but maybe not video. Now, the final way to do it is through an open proxy or an HTTP proxy. HTTP proxy is essentially a proxy server which is designed solely to take your HTTP content or web content and shuffle it around for you. So if you're if you're outside of the US, how would you get a proxy set up for yourself? So, you know, a, a great way to s start off is you can either have a friend send one up at home or you can go and basically search for a free proxy list website. Now, there are services online that do it for you and the benefit for uh, to doing that is oftentimes the connection's faster and you're a little more secure because you're at the mercy of whoever sets up the proxy and if they're basically just, you know, packet sniffing the entire time, yeah. you know, it's probably something you do not want to do your banking account through. Yeah. You do not want to do your email through, but if you're just wanting to watch videos, yeah, that's the harm. All right. Well, that's that's a good safety tip to know. Then. <laughs> so, so uh, you know, the, uh, what you want to do is essentially pull up a, a, a list site that can give you a bunch of proxies. I pulled up proxylist.org, and essentially it gives you a listing of 
available proxy servers that you can use from places around the globe. Now, say we want to get access something that we can't get here in the United States, and that's, uh, say, some French cartoons on daily motion. Okay. Because uh, we are not allowed access. In fact, I tried to access it earlier. As you can see here, content not available. We are sorry, this content is not available sorry. for your country. So I will change that, and since I know this is French because it's a French cartoon, because it's in French, uh, I will select France. Are you sure it's not from Montreal? Yes. Okay. Um, I will select France, and then I will just click Filter Proxy. And then when I go to it, after I do the CAPTCHA, it will give me a, uh, give me a couple of uh, working proxies that I can use. And from there, it's pretty simple. I just click Tools, and this is in Firefox. Whatever web browser you use will be similar, but not exactly the same. Click Network, and this is how the browser connects online. I'll click Settings, and I already enabled uh, one of these. And, uh, and typically it will be set to no proxy. I select manual proxy. I'll put the IP address here, and then I'll put the port number here. And then I click OK. Now, if there's anything else, SSL, FTP, go for socks, uh, which probably none of those you ever really need to use this way. Um, click OK. And then to double check to make uh, to double check that I actually have it working, I always go to Google because Google is really smart about these things. As you can see here, now oh. I'm in Google France and not in Google America or Google English, which is great. Now, uh, oh, all French, French. Now let's, see, let's cut and paste this cartoon that I had here and see if it works here. Oh, will it work, will it work? I think I'm French, so it must, come on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it plays. Well, that was pretty easy. Yeah, and you know what? The uh, the motions are pretty much similar for any web browser, no matter what OS you use. Um, again, do be careful because if you use a free open proxy, you do not know who runs the other end. So do not do anything that requires a password or a password you care about um, or any kind of uh, personal or, or financial information. It's just really bad form. But if you just want to watch videos or some like you know foreign YouTube service that you can only get. Uh, in that country, you know, try it. And if it works, it's awesome. I mean, it's amazing because there's so much great content out there that unfortunately is limited due to DRM and copyright infringements and conflicts of interest and stuff like that. Very cool. Well, thank you so much for showing us that. Sure. I'm going to have to check out this French cartoon you've got over here at some yes. point, although I speak absolutely no French. <laughs>